What's going on guys and welcome back to another 2042 video. Well, recently I unlocked my first tier 1 weapon skin for the MP9. I had unlocked this earlier in the week, but with the new weapon adjustments that came on Thursday, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the weapon after the patch itself and how it feels after the bloom adjustments. I know I'm a little late to the party with people getting the tier 1 weapon skins. I see a lot of people with the PP29 all done and a few ARs, but I guess you could say I wasn't really on the bandwagon of just using the PP29 to get that tier 1 skin. I just wanted to try a new weapon out. Anyways, I feel like this is a very strong weapon, but lacks at distance on it, and it really doesn't perform the best till you have certain attachments on the gun, such as the drum mag and foregrip and the muzzle brake. But all in all, I feel like this is a very strong close quarters weapon to run with, and I think many of you would enjoy this weapon since it's not very popular just yet. Since all the maps are all open and really no cover, it's kind of hard to get a lot of kills in certain areas if you're playing breakthrough. But if you manage to close the distance with this weapon, you're guaranteed to win most of your gunfights. Now, the only issue I have so far is that it seems that DICE doesn't really like to give you a lot of ammo if you're running the drum mags. You only get two magazines and really that runs out very quickly. So you're pretty much destined to always to run with an ammo box if you use this weapon or you just become useless since you run out of ammo so quickly. But really that's the only issue I have with this weapon. It's a lot of fun to use and I win most of my gunfights since the rate of fire is so high. I think it's right up there with the vector. But I don't know if it's just me or if DICE is just kind of favoriting SMGs in this game so far. I feel like there's kind of a nerf coming for a few of these weapons because that's all I see is people using SMGs. I know with the weapon loop bloom being reduced in this patch, a lot of people are running ARs, but I just feel like with the rate of fire with all the SMGs in general, just outbeat most of the ARs. Then again, that's just my opinion and my experience so far after the patch itself. Anyways, I'd highly recommend giving this weapon a go, but if you're struggling to get attachments for certain weapons, you can always jump into a single or co-op match against bots and grind kills to get the attachments itself. So just keep in mind mind that it doesn't go towards the weapon progress for the tier 1 skin itself, but it works for all weapons to get the attachments you want. Also, it doesn't go towards the tier 1 outfits if you're looking to kind of grind that as well. But that's about it guys, I just want to share with you my progress and thoughts on this weapon so far. Even though I'm a little late to the party with tier 1 skins, I thought this would be cool to show you guys in game. What weapons are you guys working on for the tier 1 skin? Let me know in the comments down below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, leave it a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, check some videos videos out and if you like them maybe consider subscribing stay safe guys play the objective and i'll catch you guys in the next one